Hey there, my name is Charlotte May. I'm a presenter, nutritionist, and an advocate for living more sustainably. And I'm Chloe, your average beauty enthusiast that loves to find good skincare and beauty finds for you guys. Yep, as Chloe mentioned, we all love our beauty products, and us Singaporeans are willing to invest in it. But the question is, what happens to all the packaging once we use up the products? Well, they end up as waste, which have negative irreversible impacts on the environment. I too am so guilty of throwing so many plastics once I'm done with my skincare. So today, we'll be looking at some brands that are conscious beauty and can be found at Capital Land Malls. So the thing about conscious beauty products is that most of them are made from natural ingredients that are derived from renewable sources such as natural oils and plants. And yes, I've actually heard about that. So before we move on to remove our makeup, we should always wash our hands. hands. And today we have this beautiful hand wash from Aesop. Ooh, Here very you go. beautiful indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna help myself. Yes. And fun fact, do you know, the one thing I love about Aesop is that all of their products are actually vegan and cruelty free. Awesome. On top of that, this particular hand wash has five nourishing oils that keeps our hands moisturized. I can definitely smell those oils. Right? Do you awesome. smell the mandarin oil? Yeah. I think this one has mandarin rind in there, right? Yes. Definitely smells citrusy. I actually really like products from you, because well. they all smell so good. Okay, mm. so now that our hands are nice and washed, we can go remove our makeup. So Charlotte, tell me, what's your daily skincare routine like? Uh, yeah, so I only have a three-step skincare routine. Three? So I cleanse, moisturize, and then I put sunscreen. Okay, I exfoliate on certain days. That's good. And that's good. Yes. Yeah. Not every day, right? As I've been told. Um, I don't tone. Wait, because wait, wait, what? You, you don't tone? No, I, I don't feel like it does anything. And For anyone <laughs> watching out there, just let me tell you why is it so important to tone later. Yes. Okay. Yes, you have to educate me on that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, three steps. But maybe I'll walk out today with a five-step skincare routine. And you make sure that you're well stick on the five-step skincare yes, routine. Yes, for okay. sure. So now let's finish wiping off our makeup and then we can go ahead to cleanse our faces. So the product that we're using today to wash our face is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash that can be found at Plaza Singapura as well as One Assembly at Raffles City which is a new concept store by BHG. Awesome! Well, I can't wait to try this product. I've always seen it, heard about it, but never tried it. So let's get started. Ooh. How does it feel? It's more like a gel. gel. Yeah, okay. Have you tried this before? Yes, I actually tried. Oh, yeah. So the best thing about this is that its light consistency actually still provides ultra deep cleansing onto your skin, removing impurities and surface debris. I was right when she when I said that she's a beauty expert here. <laughs> And you know, one thing I really like about Kiehl's is that they're really conscious about the type of ingredients that they use and in their packaging as well. So this bottle right here is actually made from 96% post-consumer uh, recycled plastic. And the thing about it is that it doesn't stop there. So the minute you finish using your product, all you have to do is wash out the bottle and then you can bring it back in store for further recycling. So I really like that. It's like a closed loop system. And the best part about this is that once you wash off your face, mm -hmm. once wash you off rinse face. off your cleanser, what's wrong with me? I once you rinse off, off your face. cleanser, you realize that your skin is actually not tight nor yeah. dry. Yeah, I do agree. I definitely do not like that feeling, right? Right? All right, well, it looks like I'm almost done cleansing my face. Now we're going to move on to exfoliating. Yes. And now moving on to the second step, exfoliating, we'll be using the Sugar Face Polish by Fresh. And one thing I always do when I uh, start new products is to smell, smell it. <laughs> same, same over here. Mm. Tell me, how does it smell like? It's actually very subtle and that is what I like. I don't like product. using yeah, products that are very strong, strong in fragrance. And this one I really like because it uses, well, the exfoliating particles are actually sugar and strawberry seeds. How cool is that? And that's really good because, you know, as we all know, microplastics end up in the ocean. So a lot of companies are actually switching to more natural exfoliants. So that is great. Right? Yeah. And one thing that I really love um, about the fresh sugar face polish mm -hmm. is that apart from it being made of sugar, it actually purposes as a more gentle face scrub as compared to the traditional ones that are actually made of husk from nuts. Right, mm -hmm. and this actually is a two-in-one product because not only is it an exfoliator, it's also a mask. You feel that it is scrubbing away your dead skin cells, mm -hmm. but it's not too harsh on your skin. Do you think you can use it on the lips? 
Oh yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. It's. I feel like you can, you know, pretty much eat this product because <laughs> it smells not, so good. It smells good. It has sugar, sugar, you know, strawberry seeds, but also plum seed oil and grape seed oil, which are all edible. So and very nourishing, I must say. Yeah, for sure. The skin feels really smooth already. Oh, Does it? I actually really like exfoliating. I feel right? like you know, you're getting all those dead skin cells out. Okay, I'm gonna oh. rinse mine off. Okay. And we'll go on to my Your favorite, favorite step, step. <laughs> toning. So the next product we'll be using in our skincare routine would be Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner that can be found at BHG Beauty Library at Bugis Junction. Oh, I think yeah. I have to go check it out. Wow, I Try really it. Like this bottle. Okay. Try it. Oh, also, I've been an avid user of this personally for the last six months, and I absolutely fell in love oh, with nice. it. Nice. Okay, now I can't wait to try it. And one thing I really like about toners that I recently learned about is that you don't necessarily need a caution pad to that use is it. true. Because you're essentially wasting away all the products, so I can just directly pour it into your palms yeah. and then pat it onto your skin. Right, is this enough? Yeah, no, actually, no. Slightly more. Okay, here you go. Wow, see, I really don't know much about <laughs> toning. Well, the last time I used a toner was like really watery and it. This I mean, isn't. Yeah, right? and it felt like I was putting alcohol on my face because it evaporated super quickly, but this feels, you know. It's. It's what not exactly this? like water. Yeah. It's slightly thicker than water, but when you put it on your face, it just Ooh. gets absorbed instantly. Wow. Right? Yeah. I love it. Oh, and it feels cooling. Do you realize? Yeah, it is. It is, for sure. And you know this brand is completely new to me, but when I did some reading up, I found that they make sure that at least 95%, at least all, all their products have at least 95% natural ingredients. So I really like that as well. In fact, it's such a straightforward and easy step to right? add to, well, my current three-step okay. routine. <laughs> um, yeah, and, okay. But before I do so, I need to know why it's important. Oh, you do not know? No, why? This is why I don't talk. Okay, usually after facial cleansing, your skin pH is slightly distorted. So okay. what a toner does is to help you restore that so that your skin barrier remains healthy and it protects itself from environmental damage. Okay. On top of that, the Haru Haru Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner contains hyaluronic acid and that is a moisture magnet that draws moisture from the air back into your skin, keeping it soft and supple. Wow, that's so cool because I keep hearing that term but I don't really know what it does. So essentially, it helps with moisturizing as well. Yes, correct. Which is our next step. So let's move on to that. So we will be moisturizing our faces with the Clarence Hydra Essential Light Cream right here, which you guys can get at One Assembly, Raffle City, BHG, Bogus, or Westgate. Wow, there's many places. Yeah. And personally, I've seen Clarence everywhere and many people have been using it, but mm -hmm. personally, I haven't tried it. Okay. So I'm really excited to see how my skin will react to it, like it or not. So Yeah, absolutely. And first impressions, no sign at all. Yeah, which is a good thing. thing right? Um, so I think we were chatting about this previously, right? That we try to go for fragrance-free products because that's better for the skin, especially if you have reactive sensitive skin. or sensitive skin. That's yeah. right. And so this product, and I was looking it up, it contains this ingredient called the Organic Leaf of Life Extract. <laughs> and I was like, what is this leaf of life? And apparently, it's an ingredient that is derived from a succulent, so a type of plant, wow. and it helps to enhance the skin's ability to retain moisture. So that's definitely something we want with our moisturizer. And upon applying this, I feel like my skin has instantly absorbed the cream. I don't know whether ah. you feel that or not. Yeah, I mean, And there's no oily cast whatsoever. If yeah. I'm looking at it in the mirror right now, and my skin feels light, it feels moisturized, mm -hmm. and there's almost like a satin finish to it. I know, right? what you, I know what you mean, yeah. I really like it. I mean, it looks like, you know, a thick cream, but as it states, it is a light cream. And, and in really fact, it, that. honestly, it applies like a gel. gel. It feels like that. So yeah, hence the satin finish. And you don't find, you don't feel like there's this heavy cream sitting on your face. So yeah, I'll be more than happy to literally go out right after no. this. I don't have to wait for it to you settle know, down yeah, into your skin. Absorb. I really like this. Yeah, I like it. And don't forget your neck. Oh yeah. Rub yeah. upwards. <laughs> oh upwards. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you go. Wow, I, I really, really like this. And this is something that I'll be happy using in the morning, at, at night. night. Yeah, definitely something I oh. enjoy. And last but not least, for those of you guys who have oily skin, mm. don't worry about using a cream. I think everybody who has oily skin needs to know that a cream is still essential in your skincare routine. Yeah, for sure. From the beauty expert right here. And if you're using this in the daytime, don't forget to use sun protection right after, which is exactly what we'll be moving on to next. 
So the final product that we'll be using today is Skinny's SPF 30 Sun Gel, which you can get at the Green Collective at Funan. Now, I really do like this product. I've actually been using it for a while now. Oh, and you've been a personal user of this. Yes. Cool. Um, so I, I recently found out about it and I've fallen in love. I really like that it all their products do not contain water, which is a good thing. So that actually reduces transportation costs. Because if you think about it, a lot of products contain water, which makes it heavy. heavy. And then right. it, it, you know, it uses up really quickly. So the idea of this is that it's a concentrate. Right. And so you only need to use a pea-sized blob, which means that this tube will last you a really, really long time. And I know <laughs> you don't, so, I know you don't so believe weird. me. Yes. yes, this is Literally. so weird. But oh. it sounds really innovative, I must say. Yeah. So I'm really excited to try this. Just like That's a it. Pea size blob. Yeah. No way. No, no, no. Try it. I'm so used to using like thrice the amount. This and this because is a bit unbelievable. And usual skin protection is watery, right? Yes. And it's white. But look at this. It's literally colorless. Yes. So for people who are looking to like skin match their products, or you know don't like that white film at the end of you know uh, applying skincare products, this. <gasps> This is your new jam. And so it really actually like it. turns into a really lightweight gel upon heat yeah. of your palms. And so easy to so apply. So it's, it's gone. It's, the, <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be trying on my... Ooh. Literally, it glides on your skin, right? Right. Yeah. And it doesn't have that sun protection smell that I really don't like. That was what I was going to say. Yeah. And the product packaging um, is free from plastic. It's actually made from sugar cane, so... 100% sugar cane. Yep. Wow. Yeah, this is, like, I really, really like Skinny's this is really doing something <laughs> good. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. And the product, so, you know, usual sun protection just feels tacky at the end of this, at the end of applying it. But for me, I find my skin slight, like, it feels moisturized and yeah. there's a slight, well, not oily, but it's not, it's not it feels oily like it's all. some kind of a cream, right? Yeah. It's because it contains vitamin E, which is oh. good for the skin. Yeah, that's very nourishing for the skin, yeah. actually. Go. And I say first time user, and I say I'm converted. Yay. I've never tried a product like this before and right. it's really innovative. Yeah. yeah, they actually also have one um, that has a slight coverage. So if you don't want to put on makeup but you just want, you know, something like a light coverage Very on your face. You can use that. They also have one for kids. So you can find this at the Green Collective at Funan, which I highly encourage you guys to check out it. because they have a they house a lot of eco-friendly and sustainable products there. So there you go. And you know what? That was a really quick, like, five-step step process. Skincare routine, right? Yes. So I have no excuses now. <laughs> so how do you feel? How do you feel after like going through the entire process? Like, I, which parts do you like best? Which what do you learn most about today's skincare Honestly, routine? my favorite discovery was the exfoliator. Honestly, like my skin feels so moisturized from it because usually I feel like I'm stripping. I don't know, like a few layers of my skin, skin whenever correct. I exfoliate because you know we and it gets red, yes. irritated, yes. and itchy, right? Exactly. But this it didn't happen. At all, yeah. That. I really, really like that one, and of course, Skins. my love. No, yeah. you got to love the toner step as well. Like, yes, that was really, lie. that was a good discovery yeah. on, on your end, right? There you go. I'm so glad that we did this together, yeah, that... and I learned so much. That was so exciting trying out all those products, and honestly, it has opened my eyes out to other conscious beauty brands out there. And it's so good to know that there are so many options for us to try from. We even discovered new concept stores at Capital Land Malls, including the BSG Beauty Library that could be found at Bugis Junction, and the Green Collective found at Funan. Absolutely, and don't forget that aside from the products that we tried today, there are many others out there at Capital Land Malls, so do head out to check them out. Here are some alternative cleansers. You can find them from Clarins, Aesop, as well as the Green Collective. And if you want to check out other brands for exfoliators, you can look into Lush, Watson's, or Clarins. And if you're looking for a fast-free alternative to your toning and moisturizing set, check out Wonder and Fantasy's collaboration found at the BHG Beauty Library. And if you're looking for alternatives for sun care, you can check out Aesop, Clarins, as well as Kiehl's. Now, clean beauty aside, let's not forget about sustainable fashion and the <laughs> items that, that we're wearing today. The beautiful yellow dress I'm wearing today is from Palem and they use materials made from plant fibers only. And if you haven't noticed our beautiful and bright earrings, well, these ones are actually pretty cool because they're made from upcycled plastic bags that have been heat fused together. And then you get this beautiful and leathery finish. And fun fact, do you know my earrings are actually made from plastic bags at Watson's which gives it its beautiful teal colour. No wonder. And right? it looks really leathery as well. It looks like, like real leather, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. And my entire outfit is actually from Levi's and the jeans actually has less water used in their production and the top uses cottonized hemp instead of cotton because it grows faster, uses lesser water and leaves behind cleaner and healthier soils. 
Well, that's good. We can feel better about our fashion choices as well. Now, I hope that you guys had something to take away from this video. You learned something new. And if you have any favorite products, do let us know. And also share with us if there's anything else you want to learn. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching the both of us. And I hope you've learned a thing or two about sustainable skincare. If you have other information or other products that you're looking for beyond skincare, make sure to head down to your nearest Capital Land Malls today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on our socials at Capital Land Malls SG.